a low quality version of what I've just spent 10, 10 bloody minutes filming on my iPad for it to just crash. Although, check that young blood sticker out. But basically, I've just spent the last 10 minutes relaying the every detail of my first ever smear test. And I know what you're thinking, mate, you're nine years old. You're not old enough to have a smear test, but believe it or not, this year is going to be my 25th year of life. A quarter of a century. A quarter of a century. Yeah, but anyway. Um, so, I got my letter through, and I thought, I'm just going to get it out of the way. And what a better way to bring in the new year and the new bloody lockdown here in England. Third one. Love a trilogy. Um, I thought, okay, I'm just going to get it done on the 5th. What better way to see me is so, you know, getting probed. It's not the weirdest thing that's happened this year. Uh, so, so today was the day. I was hyper nervous, super nervous, extremely nervous. And I obviously did what you shouldn't do and took to the internet, which is the internet's not the internet. It's just coded horror stories for free, graphic, no filter. I, I shouldn't have done it but if anything it's made the experience so much better knowing it wasn't like most of what I've seen but um, obviously you see the tools they use showcased to you as if it's like props in a Saw movie which again I'm pretty familiar with because I do love horror that's why me and my cousin have our own horror themed podcast shout out to Boob shout out to you Leah um, and then anyway but then we prefer to watch horror rather than be the protagonist in any horror movie where we ourselves are the ones to be torn to shreds but you know uh, so I went I'm not gonna I was nervous, I was nervous so I packed a little little bag which I didn't need to do you don't need to do anything you don't need to you know, tidy yourself up you don't even need to wash which you, know, you should but you don't need to it's, we're in lockdown, who needs to be clean in lockdown but I did, this is the cleanest I have ever, ever been. Like I hired a team to come in, there was machinery, fumigation, hazmat suits, you know, we had to block off the road, everything. I hired people to come, no, I didn't, I did it myself. But I'm that clean, I always wish I could bear it all online, just because people deserve to see it. But anyway, you don't need to do any of that, it's just the fear that drives you to that, I suppose. But anyway, I got there, and um, slightly odd having to wear a mask again in the doctors, but you do. And um, I wasn't wearing this because this I wanted to because this would have been an extra barrier between her and the places I don't want her to go. But instead, I wore a skirt because I thought easy access. I, could, I mean, it's bloody zero degrees out. They knew why I was there the minute I walked into reception, which is annoying because I'm pretty sure the boy man in the door was like my agent from school. I'm like, he knows why I'm there. No one wears a skirt in the winter. Um, unless, of course, you are my cousin there. And um, so, obviously, yeah, you walk in, and she was really sweet. She was so lovely. I just had to check over a few details, and she said, right, just go behind the curtain just strip off, lie on the bed, get ready for me and then tell me when to come in. And she's like, I've locked the door, I'm not locking you in, I'm locking the rest of the world out. And I'm like, yeah, trust me, they ain't gonna want to be in here. And um, obviously I was so nervous, so I was just rabbiting away, rambling, I, I kept talking over and laughing over because I was just blah, 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 off my nut on fear, which is not the same as being off your nut on chocolate, almond milk, bellies. What can you do? So obviously, that's probably the most embarrassing bit when you're lying down on this white, pristine white table and like you've got to kind of lie down and then just spread eagle. But she does it every day. She even said, what did she say? Someone nice. She was really nice. And then she comes in and she's got the tool in her hand, but honestly I wasn't really paying attention to it because I was just focusing on her eyes and I was just focusing on the fact that I was like, well, I've got to shut up now because I couldn't stop myself. I just kept going. And, um, so she comes in with that and she basically said it's just a little bit cold because I just had to lube it up essentially and to be honest I didn't even notice the cold the the worst bit is to be fair in my head it wasn't even about ten. I was worried I was going to tense up but it didn't cross my mind when I was in there but the worst bit in my head was I really thought it was going to be over in like 20 seconds 
It wasn't. It was at least at least a full minute, which is not long, but obviously in the moment it felt long. It's because it felt longer than I was expecting. But obviously she she puts this clamp in, which is not as you know it's not like that at all. It's not a Muppets character. Hasn't got that pretty aesthetic scene there. Just but and it puts it in, and like she puts it in, and I think it starts off like that, and then they have to kind of wind it open. And that I didn't realise because I've not looked. It's only from the research beforehand and what my mum said in the cut that I knew of. Because like she didn't t t talk me through the process because obviously she didn't want to freak me out. And um, she puts it in and it winds it open and then that takes longer than you realise and you can feel this kind of stretching. It just feels a little unnatural, like someone's trying to blow up a balloon inside you. And then they've got this vagina toothbrush, I suppose. They are their own former lips. And that goes through the clamp, like the tube, and up into you, and it swaps. And I could pretty much taste it. It goes a lot. <laughs> it goes in further than you expect it to. And it kind of feels like you've got an angry cat scratching away. Slightly. It doesn't hurt. It kind of stings. And because obviously she was really nice and chatty to me, but I was so hyper aware of what was going on. I was so focused on the fact that there was an alien inside me that I wasn't paying attention to what I was saying. So I ended up saying the same sentence three times over. And I did have to stop at one point just to kind of go, ooh. But, um, but yeah, it didn't so much hurt. It was just uncomfortable. It just felt odd, slightly unnatural, kind of like, you know, you put, you put in an object somewhere. It's not meant to park, kind of like parking a tractor in a line of trolleys. You know, that just isn't, that's not where it goes. Or putting a boat on the moon maybe maybe there was more on the moon was there <laughs> was that not I can't remember oh god it's basically great um but it, yeah and it doesn't hurt afterwards like I thought I was gonna sit up and the entire white bed was gonna be soaked with blood but you do feel like you you do feel like even now I feel like there's some stuff going on but um just nicked a cup of tea and that goes right through me so um after which she's like she leaves you to it and you just kind of wriggle your pants back on and then pull the curtains back and you feel like it's the curtain drawer of shame but it's not she's just standing there with and this poor woman she has to see these every day she's she's got it i felt i wasn't afraid for me i was afraid for her she shouldn't have to see that she's got to go home and have dinner with her family after this she can't have tuna with her pasta bait tonight, not after, not after what she's been through. So she's a hero, really is, and uh, she was lovely. And basically, she's just she's just explaining because I asked her like, well, how often she needs to get blah, 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 all that crap, just because I wanted to divert her attention away from what she's just done. And um, and then yeah, I w waddled out of there because it doesn't sting. So I saw afterwards, it just feels kind of like, you know, you're gonna blister in your womb chafing up there I don't know but it was odd but it was 